Hello, hello! Hi everyone! It's Charles here. Um, it's time for our Let's Draw session. So, hello, hello! So, what we have done so far, this is um, day five. We have drawn something fun like this. And with the help of basic shapes, circle, triangle, oval, lines, rectangular. And we drew something fun like this yesterday. And the day before, we drew the koala. And also some snurches. This is my snurch. This is Ruthie's snurch. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Charles Santoso. I'm an illustrator. Um, what I do is like I draw for books, mostly picture books. Uh, so I do drawings for books like this. It's called No Boring Stories by Julie Falatko. And also something fun like Dandy by Amy Dykeman. And sometimes I draw something that's emotional like this, Ida Always by Karen Levis. And sometimes something fun, funny and creepy like this book, I Don't Like Koala by Shen Farrell. So, today we're gonna try to draw a cat or more than one cat, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so um, I love drawings, and um, sometimes when I draw, uh, the drawings doesn't come out like what I like it to be, right? That is okay. That's totally okay because what you can do is you just draw again. It's as simple as that. So the most important thing is like you enjoy the process, okay? So let's try to draw some cats today, okay? So what I want you to do is, as usual, Start with simple shapes. Let's start with a circle today. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Like that. Simple, right? And then what you do is you draw. For some of you that um, was here two days ago when we drew koala, we're going to draw a shape like the koala nose. So a line down there like that and another line down there like that okay and then we draw two lines there and two lines there okay simple right and then we kind of like draw some kind of a semicircle half a circle and connect the dots and you know what that those are, right? You know what those are? Those are the feet. And then what you do is you draw another line in there and another line in there. And you draw, connect the lines again. Whoop, like that. So four. One, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four lines there. So you have a sitting cat. Or at the moment, it just looks like a rock. But don't worry, we'll make a cat. We'll get there. And to make it look like a cat, we draw like a, some kind of a sausage. But it's actually a tail. Okay, okay, now the most important part. 
is the ear. One ear here, triangle, the other one here, also like a inverted V, or you can also draw a triangle there. Okay, so we almost have a cat there, and after that, we draw an oval here, oval there, and triangle for the nose. It depends on whether you want the cat to smile or not. One line there. But let's make the cat, this cat, smiling, all right? You can draw like a big U for the mouth, okay? There you go. And don't forget to fill in the eyes. And you have a cat. Simple, right? Draw another like triangle there, another triangle there, and some whiskers. There you go. That's that will be our first cat. It's not too hard, right? If you want, like before, I have my tools here. I have like a color pencil. I have pen. I have just normal pencils. I have different pen there. So use whatever tools you want it to use, okay? Don't worry too much about, oh, I only have pencil. Yeah, just use pencil. If you only have pen, just use pencil. If you, uh, if, if you have only pen, just use pen. If you have more than one tool, then you can combine it. Um, so I'm gonna choose this color here just to give it a little bit of a fun thing for the cat. You can, the fun thing about drawing cats is like, you can draw the cat patterns, okay? So it is gonna make your cat look so much better, okay? You can draw stripes, you can draw like uh, polka dots if you want, so just imagine if you have a cat, what cat you want it to have. So you can draw rainbow colors for the cat and uh, just have fun. Okay. So this is my cat, stripy cat, just like Wally, well, uh, not Wally, Waldo. And what I usually do is I just put a bit of red for the nose and there you go we have our first cat okay let's move on let's draw another cat I'll show you how other type of cats that you can try to to draw okay it's very important for you to have fun and don't just stick with one type of kind of like style of drawing so have fun with different styles and then see which one you like best and then um, you can then stick with that one, okay? All right, so with this one, we're gonna try to start with the inverted V at the top, okay? One, two. Leave a bit of space there or you can just start combining it there, okay? And then you just continue and connect it with the other one. See, it's okay if it's not like too perfect. We can draw it again later on, okay? So with this one, we're gonna try to draw it like a more free flow, okay? So you can do it like carefully or you can do it fast, okay? Ready? You start with the, with this one, and you go to your left, okay, and you go down, and then you go back to the left for the other legs, and then you go down. Don't lift the uh, the pen or the pencil. Just keep drawing. One continuous line, okay. And whoop, there you go. You have the shapes, the cat shapes. And we just add some lines there. 
some lines there, some lines there, two lines there, and draw the eyes. This one looks fun, looks funny. Triangle for the nose, long one. Maybe he has like a very like big smile. He looks really happy. Don't forget to add two triangles at the top. Okay. And for this one, I'm gonna take my, I don't know, maybe blue color pencil and maybe start to give some patterns. No rush, you don't need to rush. I'll draw a little bit quicker so people can kind of like, so, so we have more time to draw more cats after this, okay? But you can always like replay the video here once I actually upload it or you can kind of forward, make it faster by clicking there, okay? And even polka dots for the tails. And a little bit of red for the nose. Whoops, I forgot something. Maybe for this one, I'll draw some dots for the whiskers. And the whiskers will be something fun like this. Woo! There you go. That's our second cat. Okay. First cat, second cat. Okay. Let's draw another one. This one, we're going to try something different. All right. So we'll draw one. V like that, just like the previous one. And then we just keep continue. Whoa, whoa. And draw another one. Oh! I accidentally added like an extra lines there. Don't worry. We'll work it out. Okay, so after that, I'm going to draw a circle or an oval. Okay. Uh, what is that? We'll think of something for that, okay? And then we're just gonna draw another big oval for the body. There. There you go. Maybe the tail's gone up like that. And we're gonna make the cat run. Okay, woo, it's, really, it's a running cat. What are we gonna do about this? Uh, we're just gonna make it a horn. How's that? A unicat. Unicat corn, you're a unicorn, but it's a cat, but it's a unicorn, it's a unikitty. <laughs> it's a unikitty. Just gonna draw like a super big eyes. And a super big, like, pupil. There you go. And don't forget eyelashes. And for the nose, you don't have to have a triangle. Sometimes you can try it just to have a V. Look and a line and then a u and another u there you go that's your uni cat uni cat <laughs> and for this one i'm going to because it's a magic cat right so i'm just gonna draw some stars for the body 
There you go. That's a fun one. And do a yellow one maybe. So yellow and red for the body is magic, you know. When it's magic, you just put more stars. <laughs> and the nose. There you go. Oh, that's a pretty looking uni cap. Um, more on the legs, just a little bit more to make it fun. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe just the ears. Maybe just a tiny bit of a uh, red on the on the side cheek. <laughs> what the whiskers? Oh yeah, I forgot the whiskers. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. There you go. That's our third cat. Okay. So, to close this off, I'm going to teach you how to draw a sleeping cat. Okay. So, to draw a sleeping cat, you draw a circle, as usual. And you draw a shape like this okay and then you draw the tail and then you draw like a C a C shape C okay and a smaller C okay that will be the leg and a long U and another long U. There will be the arm. Where is the other legs? You might ask. Um, it'll be on the other side. So we won't see the leg. Okay. After that, we draw the ears. And draw another one. Another two. And then after that, uh, another U, another U, and then maybe another small U, and then a line, and then a big U. There you go. That's your sleeping cat. And the whiskers, you said? Okay, two, three whiskers there, three whiskers there. There you go. That's your sleeping cat. And for this one, I'm going to draw like a zigzag line for the patterns. Okay. Okay. So something like that. Again, you can draw other patterns that you like. You can draw like straight lines, you can draw like some swirly lines. And there you go. That's another cat for you. And like I said before, when you actually draw, it's very important that you practice a lot. Okay? So even before I do this type of um, how-to video I do lots of cats drawing beforehand just to warm up to practice and also just to make sure I do them right so don't worry if your first drawings looks not like what you like it to be just keep drawing okay as a proof I'm going to show you my practice paper look I draw a lot of cats beforehand Okay, so look at this. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy that. And because you've been so nice today, I'm going to show you a sneak peek 
of a, of a cat book that I was doing. Okay, so the book is not going to be out until later this year, maybe towards the end of the year, maybe. But I'm just going to show you the preview. Okay, welcome the bookstore cat. Woo! So this one was written by Silent Silent Busby. And uh, it's called the Bookstore Cat. There you go. So hopefully you had fun. And uh, stay tuned for our next session uh, tomorrow around the same time. But I'll put the, uh, the counter on my Instagram post again. Instagram story. So um, keep an eye on that. Okay. So take care. And keep drawing. Don't forget to wash your hand regularly. Be kind to each other. Don't touch your face too often. And stay safe. Goodbye.